onto the MyTech system. And now, moving on to yet another system, following its daily work plan. The P188 will roll from one vehicle to another. Here, the P188 is on the Corec. Corec, a straightening system using rails fitted to the workshop floor. Corec can repair many cars simultaneously. One man operation, simple and fast. Another alternative, the mobile pulling system. With this type of damage, some sections will require replacement. Remove the engine and front suspension assembly. You need no lift. You can use a service jack to position the car on the straightening frame. This is the base frame made from polarized, yield-resistant, welded steel. It supports the car, the pulling arm, and the measuring unit. The frame is attached to the vehicle using clamps that adapt to various types of sill welds and quick locking supports. An air bellows lift raises the P188 frame and supports to align the clamps. If required, the jack lifts the entire unit onto the frame support stands. Alternatively, a purpose-built lift can be used to raise the frame to the desired height. The measuring system shows that the two compressible height scales do not align evenly. In these circumstances, the table will rock. One leg seems shorter than the others. In fact, the table is geometrically perfect. This confirms the car is twisted. Minor twists generally disappear during straightening. Major twist damage, however, sometimes makes it harder to obtain the correct measurements. What can we do? It's simple. Just change the setup points. The measuring unit now pushes against four points unaffected by this damage. From these points, we can measure the degree of twist. This procedure, however, is not often used and is not necessary in this case. Straightening the structure requires one or more pulling arms, each with one or more hydraulic units. On the right of the car, everything is coming back into place. Now the operator can check that the structure of the car has been brought back to the specified dimensions. Twist removed. Height now correct. Width correct. Length correct as well. The operator pushes the center beam back without disturbing the setup points. He can even lower the front end, still leaving the rear extension assemblies in place. This allows him to remove the unwanted sections. Careful preparation of the sheet metal in order that the new parts can be fitted. Detwisting of the left hand member is simply done thanks to the Black Hawk vector system. One ram pushing, one ram pulling. Let me explain. The damaged member has been removed together with its related panels. The new member must now be located and locked into position. Fit a clamp. This clamp is held by welding fixtures. The new member is secured in place. The measurement confirms the component is exactly in place. This accessory setup ensures the correct positioning of the suspension arm pivot.